the seemingly most things as you pull, like that, then you can start pulling the body. If I just see more, this will, so he's grabbing that joint now. I've actually, by sitting in my stance, I've dislocated and isolated his joint. Right? So then instead of that, if you start pulling gradually, and I'll slowly add on. So if I start thinking Taigo and ignore that, just try to do the whole body, start thinking about the knees of pointing the triangulation, and start looking Taigo and relax the body down. Taigo, relax the body down. So like that, you can feel there's something. And from there, you can start to actually move from there, you can start to move from there. So what that does, it connects the body, it connects the whole body together through thinking upright and relaxation. Imagine if you had that. Imagine if you're standing like this and through just thinking like you're upright, all your mass is continuing, and it's a flow. What we're talking about is a flow. So anything I'm talking about is a state, is a, is a state, is a flow. So it's not it's like going upright, tick, relax, tick. Okay, now I can move. No, it's a continuous thing. As soon as you forget, you stop thinking about the uprightness, as soon as you stop thinking about this, everything stops. It, you think about it like this is electricity, right? And we'll talk about this the other day. There's light bulbs that let's say I want to get my mind to there. Electricity is coming up from here. I'm like, okay, that's through, that's through. Then if I forget about this and come here, already there'll be the light bulb one go off. It has to come from here. There's no even Stephen said, without this, he can't get any power in his arm at all. He said, I'll be I'll be as strong as a eight year old man. And I felt that he there's nothing in there. But as soon as he goes, boom, so suddenly you pull and you know his legs will start dragging five people behind you. So it's all what to do with this. This is everything. Why? He said, I don't know, I don't know myself. He said it's just like if uh, if I if I pick up a remote control and I press number two, this was his, his answer. I know it's gonna to go to two, but I don't know how this happens. I just know if I press this, that's why if I do this, I know I have control and I think he said he gets access to this part of the brain and uh, I won't get too far into that, but cheese knows all that kind of stuff. But what he said, even without even for him without music. So this is the most important, this is where we're gonna anchor our awareness, right? So Go back to this, Taiko, finding that clear, what is this? But this is, I don't know, the best way I can explain it is find your balance. So, tail to the crown of the head, imagine a straight line. Try to clear up the path between that line and make sure it's perfectly balanced. Where, you know, if, I, if you go a little bit further back, you feel the shin snap tightening up. If you go a little bit too far forward, you feel where the thighs and the hips tightening up. Find that balance where you can feel I'm standing as effortless, as effortlessly, yeah, quite quickly. As effortlessly as I can, see, as what Tony's doing that, if I push into it now, if you didn't lean, you left forward, right? If you distrust it, if you distrust it, so now his, his mass is quite connected. You know, so you can, once you start to be able to a little bit, uh, you can start to, if you don't move, but you know, him now, there's not much on it, right? So you can start to recognize it, but you could do it if you just put up, it's an on switch, right? So um, this is something very real. It's not just, it's not a mechanical thing or a position thing, it's a state thing. The state of, first start by feeling gravity. However you're standing right now, feel the pull of the earth. This is something very real. And thinking about it this way, it forces you to be in the present moment. It forces you to feel it. So feel the gravitational pull, feel your body, and then see if you can balance that. Find the center of it. What line is there that you feel, if you balance that perfectly perpendicular to gravity, you feel muscle pull let go. Okay, so that's what we're in. What we know is, like always, what we know is it runs from tail to the crown of the head. That's what we're trying to clear up that part, but balance that straight line to gravity. When you do that, see if you can start relaxing. And if you're standing with your toes pointing in, as you think, I won't tell you kind of everything relaxing down. Because we're standing like this and the knees are pointing forward, that energy, as I said, it's a flow, it's a continuation. That energy will get directed out of the knees by itself. So as you're doing the form, it's like it's not like I change something because James was pulling, I was changing doing something to resist that. No, you're just standing doing so tap. But because there's, let's say the switch is on, which is like all upright going up, the muscle continuously hanging down, that's going up. Because that's on, someone pulls here, someone pushes there, someone pushes here, it's all on. You don't have to uh, change your thinking process because of the force coming in. Is that so, so it's not affecting your state, it's not affecting the body, regardless of what direction people are pushing. Yes, it doesn't affect that state and, and, and therefore it doesn't affect your structure anymore.